Hey y'all, and welcome to Bear, being actively real every day. A place where we explore our full authentic selves through self-reflection, self-acceptance, self-care, and self-expression. I was inspired to do this reading, which will now be a weekly reading called Soul Work, where we dive in to specific aspects of ourselves in order to prep for the week ahead. And what I mean by that is every day we learn lessons, every week we learn lessons, and sometimes we just need that time to do some personal soul work, to do some personal reflection and say, hey, this is what I learned this week. This is what the lessons that I was able to take away. These are the blessings I was able to take away from it and use that as motivation to continue to grow on your journey. Sometimes you could just inspire yourself, but with this reading, I hope that spirit also gives you some inspiration, some clarification, some affirmation, some resonation to just continue to help you move along on the journey. So with that said, please choose a pile from these beautiful cards in front of you. We have North, South, East, and West. Timestamps are in the description along with additional tools to help you out along the way. With that being said, I will see you in your specific pile reading. If you chose Pile of the West or the Leader card, this message is for you. So the questions that I asked during this reading was, who are you growing into? What are you manifesting? And what spiritual support is headed your way? And it looks like, so one of the themes that I'm seeing, even just looking at the cars, is not only the colors of orange and like these rich like yellow and orange tones, but also the imagery of birds. And what I'm seeing is that you are taking a leap. You are moving forward in like who you are and what it is that you're about. I mean, the fact that you have the leader card, the leader card is associated with the sun and the mantra for that card is I lead from the heart. And I feel like that is kind of like where you're at. You're kind of like the the geese I think they're both geese in both pictures, or at least like long wing winged birds. But I'm seeing like you're being the leader of the pack. You're helping everybody move forward, but you're also recognizing that you're doing this from a place of community. You're doing this from a place of love, like from the heart. Because you know that like if somebody in the back of the pack is falling behind, is not getting enough wind, you would go and like fly next to him to be like, look, let me give you a little more gust to help your wings sail a little bit higher to soar a little bit more. And at the same time, I feel like you're either needing that support or wanting that support um, or receiving that support from people who are like, hey, you helped me out before. Hey, I've seen the work that you've done before. Hey, I appreciate you just always being there and looking out for me. Like, let me give you a little bit of like wing little support under your sails too and what's interesting with the fact that you're growing into this leadership is I feel like with the question of what are you manifesting right now is this energy of hermitude and usually when we think about hermits you know they're the folks who are under a rock They'd be sitting there meditating, maybe watch, you know, like Patrick from Spongebob, you know, just chilling under the walk, maybe watching some TV, just recuperating. I feel like you were in a place of recuperation. I feel like you were in a place of, hey, I need time to rest. I need time to understand who I am, understand the message that I am putting out into the world, understand who I am about before I go out there again or go out there, period, even for the first time and saying, hey, this is what I'm about. This is the the art, the passion, the things that I want to teach, the things that I want to lead and abide by. This is my true face. This is my true self-expression. And I feel like 
with under the soul work categories, you guys are the pile of self-expression. You're saying, I need this time to rest. I need this time to recuperate. I need this time to understand where I'm personally coming from in order to move forward in in my truth and in my power. Because otherwise, like, you know, who's, you know, no one else can do it for me. Even though I'm, I'm having the support from other people or needing support from other people, at the end of the day, I have to initiate that. At the end of the day, if I need support, I need to look to other people to help me figure out what that is or just like um, assist me with a project. Like, for example, let's say that like you needed help cleaning the house, but you know, you weren't feeling well that day, but you know the house needed to be clean. You, as a leader, say to yourself, okay, like, I need support. Let me call up somebody. Let me ask somebody to assist me because I know that if we work together, we can get this done. Like, you are the collaborator. You bring people together. You're, you have the mindset of a humble leader that says these are the people I want to put together these are the things that are missing so that the puzzle can be in its fullness and so even though you are manifesting this rest in this hermitude it's just a time to just ref you know you've reflected on your message you reflected on how you want to show up in the world and now it's a time to be like all right this is it this is like you know, I've, I've gotten, I've gotten that wind again, and I'm ready to take flight. Who's coming along with me? And so with that said, uh, this is the message from your spirit guides and the fact that the ancestors are here. The ancestors are like, that's a, a sign of support. So let me read from the book to see what the ancestors have to say. Wisdom is blossoming. Even if there are unsettling situations in your life, there's a reason for it. And much good will occur as a result. Your ancestors are sending you incredible support to fulfill your dreams. Be aware of the co coincidences, signs, and synchronicities around you. Watch for messages from your forebears. No matter what's occurring on the surface of your life, your prayers are being answered in mysterious ways beyond your awareness. And so that's, a, that's the, you know what? Even if you don't have the physical support, like visually, like, you know, because you've been in hermitude, you may have not seen the support that you've needed on a physical level, on a spiritual, on an energetic level, your ancestors, your angels, your guides, you know, whoever you look to for spiritual support is there assisting you. Because regardless of what is happening on the outside, you are grounded in your divinity. You are grounded in who you are and what you are about and the message and the passion and the and just the overall community that you wish to build. And that is what true leadership is, is being able to lead from the heart, being able to lead from a place of love, being able to lead from a place of just overall wisdom and collaboration and creativity and knowing that like, yes, there's going to be times when I need to recuperate, when I need to like come together and regather myself when things get tough. But I know that I have the skills, I have the strength to continue to move forward. So let this be a reminder that you have the skills, you have the strength to continue to move forward and you have the assistance of spirit helping you. So at this time, just, you know, if you need that break to regather yourself, do that and then just keep moving, keep moving with love, keep moving from your heart, know that you have assistance and know that you can always ask for support. I hope that this reading was helpful to you. Be sure to check out the description box for um, additional tools like yoga flows and healing frequencies, specific specifically, can't say that word to save my life, specifically chosen for this specific pile to help you through the week. I would love to know your feedback, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. 
And also feel free to, like if you resonated with another pile, feel free to check that one out before you dip away. Otherwise, again, I hope this video and this message resonated with you. And bye for now. Hello, beautiful folks who chose Pile of the South or the Magician card. This reading is for you. Now there's a lot of just like beautiful blue imagery throughout your cards. And one of the questions that I asked for this reading was, who are you growing into? And the magician came up. And I feel like this is a reminder for you to know that you are a manifester, you are a magician. And what I like about the magician card, just in the tarot itself, right? It's a person who puts all four elements together including the spiritual element, making it the fifth, to create whatever it is in their life that is for the highest and greatest good of themselves and for others. And they trust in that. They trust that when they pick up that wand or when they use their hands or when they speak their words, that this will come together. And sometimes you just need that reminder especially with the Ace of Air or the Ace of Swords, which is associated with uh, communication and what you're currently manifesting, is that you're manifesting a new beginning in how you communicate your truth, how you communicate and show up for yourself, how you communicate and speak for yourself and what you need and what your community needs. And sometimes you just have to believe that, what is it? That the tools and the resources that you have will help you bring about the new opportunity or the idea or the inspiration or the support that you need. So for example, right, we have this bird Surrounded by doves, has rainbows coming out of his hands. I'm assuming that's coint in the bag. Because the magician does not what? Fumble the bag. And I feel like that's just a reminder that there's just so much flowing. You are in this flow of abundance and prosperity of just relishing in your own magic. Uh, and I think there's like rainbow, there's ra there's rainbows in all three of these cards. And so it's just kind of like this limitlessness of like not being bound to just one set of ideas or one path, but that you are the magician forging your own story, forging your own journey. And it's a new beginning. Aces are new beginnings. It's like being handed this special you know, lucky card and being like, wow, like this is, this is what I get to do. This is amazing. This is what I'm given. This is amazing. And that's kind of the reminder for you is that as a magician, you don't have to be bound by the, the systems that we have kind of grown to be accustomed to in the society. You don't have to be bound by the same stipulations or and I mean, like, nobody needs to be bound by that. But I feel like for you specifically, you are kind of the self-acceptance pile or represent the self-acceptance aspect for this reading, where it's like you accept your full self and this is how you're going to show up and speak that. This is how you're going to create a life that really represents that. And not even, like, yes, other people will benefit from your journey from your testimony but you're doing it because you want to you know you want to have this life that's true to you and not bound by you know the the rhetoric of 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 society <laughs> like um and i guess what i mean by society is that like you know sometimes we like to put people in boxes just so we can try to understand them or that we can try to control other people but 
at the end of the day, we are full beings. Just because one person sees an aspect of ourselves one day does not mean that we will show up the same the next. We are always growing, always um, cultivating, and always nurturing our path and our our journey. And so being called to just stay true to yourself and being true to who you are is a blessing. It's a reminder that like, Hey, you're on the right path. Keep growing into who you are. Don't feel ashamed that, you know, just because you don't meet people in the same box that, you know, that's your whole story. It's not. You can show other people that there is more to you and more to them just by living your truth, just by living who I, like living your fullness. And maybe the rainbow is a representat representation too for all my queer folk. Um, of just kind of like the freedom of expression that being queer has. It's just being able to see and to feel and express so many different levels of the self because it's not necessarily bound to any one thing and being able to see the fullness and being able to just accept all things and saying, hey, that this is this is who I am, this is how I represent myself, and this is how I show up in the community that I'm a part of. Um, so I just wanted to share that for folks, for all my queer folks, um, who also need that message of just like, just continue to express who you are, even, even when it seems like you're being harmed because of it. As long as you do no harm, and you continue to glow and shine in your truth, that's it. It is what it is. And you will prosper from that. You will prosper from just being a light and an example for others by truly living out your your journey. Even through all the ups and downs. Because the thing is too is that when it comes to living our truth, when it comes to figuring out like who we actually represent, what we're actually passionate about, what we actually want to create. It's like it's a it's a it's a trial and error. It's kind of like when a when a baby finds something for the first time and they're trying to test it out so they put it in their mouth and then they're like, ooh, this wasn't good, bleh <laughs> or it's like, ooh, let me get some more of that. Like it's kind of like that where you'll you'll figure out that like, hey, this doesn't taste good. <laughs> This tastes good. <laughs> this don't feel no good. This feels good. Um, this is what I actually resonate with. This is what I don't. This is who I fuck with. This is who I don't. You know? And again, as long as you're, you know, moving with no harm to others or harm to yourself, you will be okay. And and even with that acceptance, acceptance too, it's being able to accept your your role on this journey and saying like, I accept that, hey, I hadn't had it all together in the past, but I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm being inspired every single day by the growth that I'm seeing in myself. And yes, it's hard, but as a magician, if I need help, I'll ask for it. If I need a new opportunity, I'll ask for it or I'll, I'll, make, I'll make it work. But as long as I show up for myself, I know that others will show up for me. Or I'll find others to show up to support me. So, with that said, let's get some spiritual support from your guides. And I'm going to read the book on this one. Just so we get the full, the full message. So, the card that came out for that is Offerings. The universe is grateful for you. Ain't you are a gift to the world. Ain't that it? Feel gratitude for everything in your life, even the things that don't seem perfect. Appreciation for everything flows through you in great bounty. Cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you, and thus you will be cherished. Why? <laughs> Why that song came in my head? Cherish. Um, I'm feeling really unappreciated. You're taking my love for granted, babe. And I don't know how much more I can take from you. I feel like that's kind of like where where you're coming out of. It's like you may have felt unappreciated. 
You may have felt like no one understood you. You may have felt like the oddball out, the weirdo, whatever you have called yourself in the past. Let it go. Know that you are a gift. Know that you are appreciated. And that starts with accepting yourself. And that starts with accepting your own magic, your own power, your own bag. You know what I'm saying? Lead with the fullness of the rainbow. You are not bound to anything other than the fullness of who you are. And that's it. So appreciate it, accept it, flow with it, and show other people by showing up for yourself. With that said, I hope that this message resonated with you. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Feel free to check out the description box for additional resources like a yoga flow and a healing frequency specifically, I said it correctly, yes, specifically picked out for you. Um, feel free to watch the other readings. Timestamps are also in the description. And if you know this is the end, if this is the end of the road <laughs> for, for you and you received the message that you needed, I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye for now. For all my folks who chose Pile of the East or the Communicator card, this message is for you. So, I feel that y'all represent the self-care aspect in this soul work journey that we are on in this video. And the fact that you have chosen the Communicator card, which means words have power. Mm. That's your mantra. And I feel like you're using your words to create boundaries right now. You're using your words to say, this is what I'm about. This ain't it. This is where I'm moving into. This ain't it. <laughs> like the question I had for this card was, who are you growing into? And you're growing into the communicator. You're growing into someone who knows their worth. You're growing into someone who says, hey, I'm saying no because it doesn't feel good for me to do right now. Catch me at another time. You're saying yes because this fits within your boundaries and not pushing you or feeling like you have to escape behind a wall. The thing is between walls and bubbles is that you can't see shit through a wall. You can't see shit over a wall. The only thing that you can see when it comes to a wall is one side. You ain't got all eyes from the back of your head to the side of the head to the front of your face. When you have a bubble, when you're in a bubble, it's transparent. It's trans or is it? It's transparent. It's translucent. <laughs> it both. <laughs> and um, when you're able to see all sides, you're still protected in this shield. Right. But you have the ability to see. OK, so that's fuck shit coming my way. And that's some good stuff coming my way. I'm a welcome to good stuff. Fuck the fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why. Out of all the piles that the the words are just coming out of my mouth. So if you, you know, need to exercise your throat chakra in, um, in words that are colorful. Because, you know, I don't see curse words as bad. I see intention of words as bad. Right? Because you can say something real off with your words without cursing nobody. You can curse without using a curse word. So that's why I call them colorful words because they just add a little extra flavor and spice to what you're saying, to your intentions. So if you, if you, if you resonate with that, if you feel that, you know, continue to listen. But I understand that if more words like this come out and that, you know, triggers you, I totally get it. Anyways... All I'm saying is that words, words mean things. Like this card says, words have power. You are exercising your power. You are being able to discern with clarity and wisdom what makes sense to you and what doesn't. What needs to be thrown the fuck away and what needs to stay. So with that said, let's move into this card, which is the four of earth or the four of pentacles in the traditional tarot. And the question behind this card is... What are you manifesting? Fours 
our stability. We are currently in the year of the four. If you add 20 and 20 together, it equals four. And four is stability. If you think of a table, it got four legs. Some of them are fancy. I'm talking about a traditional table, four legs. You go to preschool, four big old table legs. That's what I'm talking about. And so with that imagery, you have to release the bullshit. That's what we're doing right now, too, in this era of, you know, all that is going on. Like, I can't even just name the one the one major thing. But the thing is, is that we have been put under a microscope. And everything that does not make sense, everything that either belittles or limits or blocks other people is being called out into question. Anything that does not benefit the whole is being called out into question. People are being called out for their fuckery. And that is kind of where you are at right now. You are doing this. This is some self-care work. This is you going through, combing through your being and say, this is who has been fucking with me, and this isn't. This feels good. This is for my good. I will continue to pursue this. This is what I need to release. And especially with self-care, and, you know, everybody has their own personal definitions. Mine, personally, is something or someone that assists in your overall care and well-being. For example... Like, you know, you can do an activity that assists you in your well-being. That's a part of your self-care regimen. Another definition for self-care is you participating in an activity, in a routine, in, you know, in partnership with someone or with yourself for your overall care and well-being. The intention of self-care is so that, like, the goal of self-care is so that yourself is cared for, period. That should just actually be the definition. Self-care is myself is cared for. You can add the period if you want. But that's where words can help set that because if there are people pushing your boundaries, then that is a a level of self-care that you also have to exercise. Because if you don't and you allow somebody's words to affect you, if you allow somebody's actions to affect you, that is you accepting the fact that that is true to you. And that doesn't necessarily, that's not necessarily the case. For example, someone told me that I have a big old nose and I know in myself and my heart of hearts that I do not have a big old nose. The devil is a lie. I'm calling them a liar. They don't need to be in my space. Leave the premises. Get out of my face. You don't need to be here. I don't like you now because you lied to me. What else you been lying about? Because you told me I got a big old nose and I don't believe that fact. <laughs> now, now, like, and that's just really on a minuscule scale. But the thing is, is that there are certain things that we accept from other people and we don't even realize it. And so the minute you accept it, that's the minute you're saying that it's true. So, like, for example, if someone said, oh, you ugly. No, I know that that is a lie. The devil is a liar. And so are his minions. So, I'm going to say, hey, if the devil is a liar, then you obviously operating in lies. So, you can get up out of my face <laughs> with your lies. Because I know I'm beautiful and I'm exercising my beauty by saying politely with grace and with humbleness to get out of my face. <laughs> Uh, I'm being silly, but that's kind of the energy that the communicator has. And even if you don't have that, you know, even if you don't feel like you're, you're in that energy yet, you're growing into it. This is a call for you to grow into it. This is a call for you to say, this is the care that I need in my life. And I'm calling that in by saying, this is, this is the boundary. This is the system, systems in place that I'm saying are for my good. Whether that's an activity, whether that's people, you're saying that to create a system, a system, a support system that actually supports you. Because just like table legs, if they don't support you, it's just a board. <laughs> it's literally just a board. What you gonna do with all that? <laughs> like, what you gonna do? 
what are you going to do? So, um, yeah, with, um, with that said, let's go into your spiritual support or support from your guides. And the card that came out is the shapeshifter and I'm going to read it from the book just so we get the overall message from you guides. Here we go. You can be anything you desire. Let go of attachment to your identity. See the world around you with new eyes. Be malleable. Experiment with different ways of viewing reality. See the point of view of others. If you haven't been able to manifest your dreams, maybe you need to shift the way you see the person or situation. And that goes with communication, right? Because in order to shift and transition and move and be flexible, you also, again, have to move with that level of communication. By you, you know, not being behind a wall, but being in a bubble gives more space for you to work with things, to move with things, because you are able to see things from a different perspective. If you are living behind a wall, if you're moving behind a wall, or if you're, you know, staying in fear behind a wall, there is nothing for you to help assist you in your forward movement. So in order to create stability, it's not about creating walls, it's about building community, it's about building bridges. And you can't do that if you can't see, and you have to be able to see. And that's what they were also saying too in the in the book, is that you have to shift your point of view. So if something is not good for you, you know, shift your point of view and say, hey, you know, if, if, um, if me removing myself from the situation and shifting my reality to something that is more of a support system is for my highest and greatest good, so let it be. But continue to participate in it knowing that it's not, it's not helping out anybody. It's just going to continue to create more instability, more chaos, um, more fumbling, etc., etc. So use your words. Your words have power. Really take this time to care for yourself and create those those boundaries to help you create a stable environment for yourself to grow. Because if you can't shift and change, you're gonna feel in that stuck energy. You're gonna and that's not and that's not caring for yourself. Because to care for yourself is to make sure that you are growing in a thriving environment and not the opposite. So with that said, I hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Feel free to check out the description box for additional tools like a yoga flow and healing frequencies specifically picked out just for this pile. I hope that it assists you in your week or just your overall journey. And feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments letting me know like, hey girl, hey, this actually resonated with me. I really like what you chose. Do, do, do. I like what you said. You know, you can quote me, you know, whatever it is and you feel like you want to share it, leave it in the comments below. With that said, feel free to also watch another pile if it resonated with you. But if you're good and this is the end of the road for us, I appreciate you. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. To all my lovely people who chose Pile of the North or the Merchant Car, this message is for you. So I want to start with the question, who are you growing into? And the card that came out was the Merchant Card, which has the mantra of opportunities to prosper are everywhere. And I want to also tie that in with the question of what are you manifesting, which is the Ten of Fire or... In the traditional tarot, it would be the Ten of Wands. And tens are completion. Like, if we're just going to, let's just break down the numerology of that, but um, or the numerological message behind that. But tens are completion. Like, if you think about, uh, you know, you go through zero, and then you go through the journey of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nine is kind of like the precipice of, hey, something beginning is about to happen, but also we're saying goodbye to 
you know, all the lessons that I've learned, all the things that I've accumulated, all that, you know, that just kind of goes away so that you could be reborn in the 10. You can be in this fullness, in this completion of the number 10, which is a, um, what is it? It's a combination of zero, which is, you know, just this infinite, right? Because it's, you know, it's not beginning, it's not ending, it's there, it's existing. You are this limitless being. And then you have one, which is, we are moving, we are beginning something anew, we are this one, we are, are action-oriented, let's get it, let's go. So well, the fact that you have the 10 is that completion energy. And I felt like I need to break, break that down because this is a reminder that you are complete. You are whole and if you feel like you aren't this is a message of that you are growing into a space where you can see prosperity and abundance everywhere where you can create new things that will assist you in your journey towards completion that you are burning away right because in this image we have her here I'll just bring it up to the camera we have her burning away all of these pages pages out of the book maybe they represent relationships maybe they represent lost jobs maybe they represent you know fears doubts shame etc trauma whatever it is it's being burned away to make space for who you're growing into right into this tree who's got like money just flourishing off of it you know what i'm saying so let this be a reminder let this be a, a moment of reflection. I feel like you're my reflection pile, the self-reflection out of the four aspects of bear because this is a moment for you to reflect on what you've burned away so that you can make space for what you're trying to create. What are you trying to create? That is the question for you. What are you trying to create? And do you believe that prosperity is available to you, not only because of this creation, but because of who you are, like who, like just who you are as the person creating it, right? Because I feel like sometimes we get really great ideas, you know, either to start, uh, for example, to start a YouTube channel or to, um, you know, start a business, um, to share a craft, to teach lessons, um, to be a thought leader, whatever it is, there's a calling there, right? There's a calling for us to create something, even if it's simple as, you know, knitting something. Not to say that knitting is simple, because it's not. It's complicated. It's intricate. And people who do that work, you know, have that level of detail and uh, perseverance to bring that bring that quilt, bring that blanket into full completion. And that's kind of like where you're at is that you can see the opportunities available to you. And if you can't, you are you are willing, you are taking that step to try to see those opportunities available to you through your ideas, through your creativity, through just trusting and being open to receive something else than what you're currently going through, if that makes any sense. Instead of staying in this place of burden, instead of staying in this in this space of blockage, you're burning it away in order to manifest a new opportunity, more abundance, more prosperity, more love, more joy, more healing, whatever it is you're calling that. And the thing is too, because this, this card has a planet on it and the planet is Mercury, which is communication. So it's being, it's, you're being asked to communicate that. Whether that is being able to communicate that to yourself so that you can boost yourself up to say, hey, you know, I know that what I'm putting out there is, is vulnerable to me, but I have to create it because if I don't, like, I would feel um, stifled. I would feel like I'm not living my true self. So having that moment of reflection to be like, what it is that I wish to create in the world and just going out there and doing it anyway, 
kind of like the Mother Teresa poem. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up Do It. I think it's called Do It Anyway. Um, Mother Teresa. And um, it's like a poem of just a list of things to do it anyway. <laughs> so um, with that being said, let's move on to spiritual assistance at this time, which is the spirit keeper of the West. And I'm going to read from the book. So then that way you receive the full message from your guides. Oh, here we go. Transformation. Letting go of the old. What we say. What we say. <laughs> Initiation. Illumination. Harvest. Gather your inner resources. What we say. Gather it up so you can be the opportunity. If it doesn't feel right, don't go ahead. Trust your heart. Chaos brings positive change. Almost all change comes out of turmoil. Don't be concerned if there's confusion in your life. It will all work out. And that's the thing. And I feel like that's a theme. Because I've already seen that as a uh, from the previous pile. But even if you look at this... If, here, I'll bring it up. Even if you look at this car, right? It seems like there's like so much happening. But at the end of the day... I don't know if you can see, but she's kind of glowing within. She's trusting her heart and burning all this bullshit away to make room for the inner resources that she knows she has to create opportunities for herself, to create opportunities for her future or for her community or for both. But it starts with understanding that this is all, this all, all the... The bullshit, all the blockages, all the fear, all the doubt, let that ish go. Tune into your own inner resources, tune into your own magic so that you can see that prosperity and opportunity is available to you now and will always be available to you now. And it's just the mindset in which you are currently in. So take that moment of self reflection, allow the spirit to be of assistance, you know, call. On your guides to just be like hey you know help to burn away the blockages to help me create from a place of you know fullness trust whatever you need to feel secure in your own divinity with that said I hope that you enjoy this reading hope that this reading resonated with you feel free to look in the description box for additional resources like yoga flows, and healing frequencies specifically picked for this pile. Now, if you resonate with another pile or you just want to watch the whole video, feel free to do so. If not, and this is, this is us saying goodbye, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.